Hey guys, Ty here. So we've already talked about Oculus Link, the ability to use your Oculus Quest as a PC VR headset. That means like just using a cable connected to your PC and using the power of a PC to play your games with, of course, better graphics uh, and some better games overall that you can find from uh, the one that you have usually on the library on the Oculus Quest. And well, uh, we talked about it and we also compare it with the different headsets like the Rift S and the Rift in a true the lenses comparison to see what is the difference in quality if it's really worth it to get that instead of the Oculus Rift S. Bear in mind though that this is still a beta, so it's still evolving and the quality could get better and better. And because it's a beta, well, we can actually work a little on it to make it even better than what it is right now. So in this video, we're gonna see how to hack a little the Oculus Quest to make the quality better and to have better visual, to have overall a better experience. By the way, this guide was posted on the Oculus Forum by Volga Skoy. I hope I didn't murder uh, the name. And it's targeted, of course, to advanced users. So if you know how to do stuff with your PC, uh, well, you're welcome. Instead, if you just want a regular experience, well, with this, you could not ruin forever the experience, of course, but uh, you could get a worse VR experience than the one you had before. Everything is fixable, so don't worry about that. But let's jump right in and let's see how to do it. Okay, so first thing to do is to have, of course, the latest version of the Oculus software and the latest version of the Oculus Quest software, that is the version 12. I made a video about the end tracking and there there's also a guide on how to update if you didn't have the update yet. So watch that and then come back and we go through that together. Then what we have to do is to use the Oculus Debug tool. It's a tool that uh, we usually use for the Oculus Rift S or the Rift, uh, mostly to change the FOV or the resolution, the super sampling for Oculus. And well, in this case, you're gonna use it also for the Quest because if you have the latest version, another part is there that adds of course, the super sampling option also for the Oculus Lane. So we follow the path to the Oculus Debug tool, going to support, Oculus Diagnostic and folder. Of course, in the Oculus folder, there's gonna be in your program files, but really depends where you installed it. And in the Oculus Debug tool, we have to find the Oculus Link section with the encode resolution width, distortion curvature, and pixel per pixel override. So encode resolution width is the quality of the streaming that is gonna to arrive to the Quest. Of course, if we push it to wide, we're gonna have some tearing and stuff because it really depends how much the GPU can actually handle. So if you have an higher GPU, of course, you can go for higher numbers. Then the distortion curvature is something similar to the fixed foveate rendering. So that means pushing the resolution more in the center instead of all around. And here it works a little at the opposite. So if you are on low, you have actually the better quality. Instead, if you are on high, you have the lower quality because the details is compressed just in a part of the screen. And of course, the pixel density that is like the super sampling. As we said, that means that higher it is, better it's gonna be the quality of the pixels, of course. But bear in mind that this is per dimension, is not the same as the super sampling that you usually have. So a 1.2 is gonna be a 44 increase in pixel resolution, 44%. Instead, a 2.0 will be 300% increased in pixel. And that means that if you don't have a super powerful graphic card, well, that is gonna create problems. And if this all sounds like uh, any other language that you don't know, well, uh, there's a solution because Bob Koi, and of course I murdered again the name, actually gave some suggestions to have better quality already with an example, with some examples or different graphic cards. He discovered is the expert, probably is better than us doing so. So recommended, if you have a 2070 a comparable GPU, the curve tool should be on low, encode resolution on 2912 and the pixel density to 1.2. Instead, if you have an Nvidia, 1070 or a comparable GPU, of course, the curvature is gonna be better on high and code resolution on 2352 and the pixel density of 1.1. Instead, if you have a very old graphic card like the 970, so the generation back in the day and you're barely hitting uh, the target when it comes to VR, well, it's better to keep the curvature to default and code resolution to 
2016 and the pixel density to 1.0. Also worth notice that the pixel density will be resetted every time that you get out from the Oculus software. So you're gonna have to go back there anytime to then change it back if you have want a better quality and there's no really way to lock it right now because we're talking about a beta and because we're talking about a beta uh, this could get better also on like the official software very soon so so consider it a fix for now or just an increase uh, in quality for now and then we're gonna see in the future if it's gonna arrive that probably is gonna arrive for sure uh, better because they're already working to make the link much much better. Overall I tried the IS tier of course because I have 2080 Ti uh, I tried to push a little more the pixel resolution and the quality is much much better. It's easier to spot stuff in the distance uh, just uh, everything feels uh, like using better the resolution than it was before because the Oculus link of course goes through compression that is the encoding of course and it was visible even if the quality was already pretty good and now it's getting just better and better. So go nuts with numbers and make the Oculus Link, Oculus Quest experience even, even better. So waiting for a new update to make it even better? Well, this is what we have. Thanks to Volska Koi and the third murder for sure of the name. And uh, I see you guys in the next video. If you, of course, if you liked the video, like. If you didn't like the video, just like. It's fine too. Subscribe to the channel for more of VR tech. And I see you guys in the next video. Also, relevant contents could be around me uh, because the videos we talked about. And uh, if you want to browse there, well, take a look. I see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Ciao.